Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Jojo Palacio and on this channel, we talk about all things beauty. Today we are doing this fall glam look. It is officially the 1st of November. How we got here, I have no idea, but it's the 1st of November. So I figured that we would, you know, bring out our long sleeve shirts and our fall colors, even though I've been doing fall glam for like the past month already, but you know, shh, it's okay. So we're gonna do this quick and easy glam. I literally have to walk out the door in a few minutes and I just want it to look put together, but a little more than just every day. I want it to be glam, but quick. So that's the look that we did today. We did a fall inspired quick glam. Um, before we get started on this tutorial, I just wanna encourage you guys to subscribe to my channel. We have goals to get to a thousand subscribers and I need your help to do that. You guys have been great so far. We are almost at 600 subscribers and I'm so excited. So excited and so grateful. Um, so we have uh, posts every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday of every single week. That way you and I can do this whole thing called beauty together every single week, three times a week. So subscribe to my channel. The button is just below. You can also comment. I will post a few videos within this video of like my eyebrow tutorial. Um, I'll also post my skincare routine that I posted like, oh my God when I first started the channel, but if you guys want an updated version of those, comment and let me know. The eyebrow tutorial is pretty frequent. The skincare, not so much. I haven't posted it on here. I've done just a few things with you guys on Instagram, so follow me on Instagram if you don't. I have everything listed in the description box, Facebook, Instagram, business Facebook, business Instagram, as well as all of the details of the makeup. So let's get started on this tutorial. All right guys, so let's get started this morning because we're doing this, you know, Quick, quick, quick. So today's look is just gonna be a simple look. Um, I feel like these, it's actually Sunday today. I know you're seeing the video on a Monday, but it's actually Sunday and Sunday mornings are time for me to get ready for church. And I feel like these looks are really good, easy, quick glam looks just because it's exactly what I'm going for. So we're gonna prep the skin with some primer. I'm using the Hourglass Mineral Veil as well as the Professional by Benefit. Um, two important things to know is that I already have prepped my skin with skincare. That's why you guys see that I don't typically wear anything. You would like to see me put some skincare on and talk you guys through it on my channel. Comment down below. So the Benefit Professional Hydrating has the same benefits as the Professional um, Matte, but it's just not as magnifying. So I'm going to take these two and combine them today. The foundation that I'm using today is pretty matte in its own, so that's why I'm okay with using that professional versus the original. There's three different kinds. There's the pearl, the original, and then the hydrating. All right, so now that we are primed, let's get started on complexion. So for complexion, I'm gonna use um, Too Faced Born This Way 24 Hour Matte Foundation. I have really been liking this new formula. I use it in the shade Natural Beige. You guys wanna try a nice transfer-proof long-wearing foundation. I definitely recommend this one. This one is becoming a tie, a close second to my Smashbox. So I'm gonna use a buffing brush to apply this and blend it all in. I love the coverage of that foundation. I love how smoothing and blurring it is. Like my skin just feels like skin still, but it's covered and I really, really love that. So let's go on to bronzing. I don't know that I'm gonna contour it with creams today. I'm definitely gonna do it with powders, but for bronzing, I'm gonna use my Milk Makeup Medium Tan um, Flex Foundation Stick. I love this to help me just kind of warm up and get the skin glowy and bronzy. So although I've used this foundation, I want to say about three or four times now, I haven't used it with its concealer yet. Um, I've used it with the Peach Matte Concealer, but not with the Born This Way Concealer. So I'm going to use my Born This Way Sculpting Concealer in the shade Nude. And I think this is pretty much what I'm going to use. I'm not going to go into the double. Just because when I selected Nude, I wasn't this tan. I wasn't using Natural Beige. I was using, I believe the foundation was Nude that I was using. Um, and so this is pretty in between that highlighting concealing shade it's definitely more on the highlighting side and it's good coverage so i'm confident that's going to do what i need it to do so i'm just going to use one even that's very important when you are doing your complexion people just do their under eye area thinking okay well that's what i see done on social media but then they forget that it has to look even and so by that i mean if the light were hitting your under eyes and it would also hit your forehead, it would hit your chin, it would hit your nose, 
So just keep that in mind when you're thinking of um, how your face is flowing and how it looks. It should look like that same lighting is hitting you evenly throughout the face. So I'm just gonna blend this out into the under eye area, but I like to take it on the outer edges first and just kind of let that under eye area set for a little bit. So we are concealed. And I know that I said I wasn't, but I'm totally doing it. I'm gonna take a little bit of a highlighting shade. Who do I want to use? Yeah, I'll just use this. So this is the Benefit Boing Concealer in the number two, which is just a smidge lighter. I'm going to take it into the inner corners and then I'm going to take it up here just a little bit just to help lift those areas up further because I am needing it <laughs> this morning, I feel like. If you're concealed and you're good with it, you're good to go. You do not have to do this. This is just an added step for more highlight, more lift to the face. So if you ever feel like you had not enough sleep or you went to bed too late um, or your under eyes just look like they're super swollen, puffy, dark, you just want to make sure that you put a little bit of that highlighting shade to reinforce the concealer in that inner corner and your problems will just disappear. Alright, so let's set this real quick. I'm going to use my JoJo powder combination. I have it described down below. I do not own the powder. It is just a combination of powders that I like to use as setting powders um, just because the color comes off perfect, the formula comes off perfect, and my under eye comes off perfect. So um, they're all inexpensive powders, but I just love the way that it looks. So once we've set the under eye area, I'm just going to move right into the eyes. So I'm going to stop for a minute and all that powder is under there. It's kind of like our safety net and I'm going to do my eyes. So I'm going to use my P. Louise Eye Base in the shade Rumor. And I'm just going to set, prep and set my eyelids for some eyeshadow. Now that the time has changed, because today is officially the day that, you know, the time changed last night or midnight, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's like easier for me to get up in the morning because there's light out and there's actual sun, you know? Before it was like, good lord. I couldn't get myself to get out of bed. It's awful. So um, we are setting that with a Charlotte Tilbury airbrush powder. This is the shade number two. I'm just going to put that all over the lid just to kind of help me blend the powders over each other. Today's look is going to be very simple very fall inspired warm because i've been doing so much cool tones that like i need a warm shade so what i'm going to use to help me stay focused is the um jaclyn hill vault palette this is the armed and gorgeous this is what this guy looks like i'm gonna i plan on using like all these warm orangey yellow shades i just don't know how yet so bear with me because I think that's what I want, but I don't know. <laughs> oh my word. So, what I'm going to do is start with my darkest color. I want to go into Prowl. And I'm going to put that in the outer corner. I'm just trying to find a brush. So I'm going to pick up Prowl with a JH35 brush. And when I say pick up, guys, I need your brush to look like this. Like if your brush does not look like this, then you need to do a little more picking up of the powder on the brush because what happens is you're gonna struggle to get the pigmentation that you want and that's where the blending gets off, that's where the smudging is just, the lines are, are prominent so just be careful and this is what I mean when I say pick up. So I'm gonna put this, stamp it right in the outer corner. I typically don't do both eyes on camera and it's so weird to do both eyes on camera. Okay, so this is where we're at with the brown. It's very 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 pigmented which i like i'm loving it's very difficult to build up colors and i've there's different techniques that you can use for the eyes so that you're not constantly having to go back in and reinforce the colors and this is one of them so starting with your darkest color first and then we're going to blend around it and if we have to which i really doubt that we're going to have to reapply more we will um, so what I'm going to do is take a blending brush. I am going to blend this out with the JH41. It's uh, more, it's longer and it's definitely um, fluffier than the other brush. I'm going to pick up the shades Access and Agent. And I'll show you what those look like. So Access and Agent. 
Again, building it up on the brush and then we are going to just blend this out all around the edges making sure that we have zero visible lines and we have gradient transition. When I blend this out I kind of like to start a little below almost on the other shadow so that we can lift the color without having it go all the way up to the brow. Like I want to make sure I blend this out without having eyeshadow all up on my brow. And that's the way that I do it is I make sure that I almost start below where I need to blend to work things out. All right guys, so this is where we're at with our eye look and I'm pretty happy with it. What I'd like to do is add a little brightness to this area of the eyelid. So what I'm gonna do is take a flat brush just like this guy. And I'm going to pick up the shade Girl Trip, which is right there. Guilt Trip, not Girl Trip, Guilt Trip. And I'm just going to wipe that onto my lid. You don't use these shades in so long, you forget how pigmented they are. But there is pigment, honey. So I like to wipe it into the um, wiping motions into the brown just to make sure that everything is tied together and that everything is equal on both sides. So it should be a nice little gradient. Um, in between that, I'm actually just gonna turn it over and I think I'm gonna pick up Classified and I'm just gonna put that right in between. Classified's got some like blues and it, it's really pretty, but I want it to be just like a nice gradient into the brown. Using that brush and a little bit of the brown, I'm just gonna go back in and reinforce the matte, the darkness of the outer corner. But we're good, we're good to go. So let's finish the under eye area. That's kind of what I like about having these looks that are done. I call it reverse, but it's not really reverse, um, is that we can go right into the under eye area. So I'm going to use this BH Cosmetics brush, it's the number 7, and we're just going to do the same thing we did um, on the top to the bottom, except this time we're going to start with Agent and Access because I don't want the bottom to be super dark, and then we'll add it in with a smudger brush to brown. I'm curious, I always start with my eyes, unless I'm in a hurry or I know that I can't take too long. Um, I don't know why, but that process in my brain just, I chill, I take my time, I get creative, not saying that this is not creative because it's obviously a glam look, but I feel like I get done with my eye makeup so much faster when I do my face first versus my eyes, which is why I prefer to do it only when I'm in a hurry. Like I feel like I just prefer doing the eyes first because I don't have to worry about fallout or fixing anything. What do you guys like to do with your makeup? Like how do you do your makeup? Do you do the face first or do you do the eyes first? I want to know, comment down below. Let me finish the rest of the face because I'm going to put lashes and mascara and do my brows off camera. So let's finish the rest of the face at this point. So for the rest of the face, I'm going to go into my KVD Beauty um, palette. I'm going to use the shade, what is it, Subconscious, which is a nice dark shade here to go into the contouring. I love this gray tone for contouring. It is perfection. I like to warm up my face and bronze it up, but I kind of forget sometimes that contour shades should be warm. <laughs> I don't care what people say, contour shades should not be warm. They should honestly reflect a shadow that's on your face. So, oh, those eyes are so pretty. So using that center shade, which is called Shadow Play, I'm going to run through the bronzer real quick i'm not a lot because i'm pretty happy with how the creams look but just to make sure that my face is definitely warm i like that i like it to wipe off the under eye powder if there is any to wipe off i'm going to use the two top shed it's called uh levitation and lyric it's like a pinky yellowy toned powder just to help me brighten up if there, for any reason any shadow got on there or anything got messed up. So to dust off um, 
and set the rest of the face. I'm gonna just run a little bit of this Charlotte Tilbury airbrush powder over it. I don't know about you guys, but I love just kind of doing this as a last step so that it can set everything. If there's too much darkness from the contour, I can kind of color correct in this instance. I just love this powder. When I um, worship on the worship team, there's lots of light and I feel like I can get very shiny very quickly. And this powder really helps to prevent that. So a one, let's do some highlight. I'm gonna use this um, pretty vulgar palette. I'm gonna take that highlight, not that one, this one. That's right there. I love this highlight, it's so pretty. I'm gonna place it in the same areas that we did our Highlighting, this is just an illuminating highlight. And then down the bridge of the nose. And I'm also gonna use an angled brush and take that Hush Blush shade and I'm gonna put that right in between the bronzer and the highlight. Don't need much. Pretty, 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 pretty. Awesome, so while that is on, I am going to set my face draw some brows on and put some mascara with lashes and I'll be right back. The lashes I'm gonna use are the Lava Lashes in the style Charm. Mascara I'm using is the Huda Beauty Legit Lashes and then I'm just gonna take a quick uh, run through my brows with the Anastasia Brow Wiz. I'll be right back. All right guys, so I am back with the finished look. Um, this is where we are at today. <laughs> nude lip, duh. It's more of a cool tone nude lip, which I know I said I was going to do warm tones, but it just worked so well with this lip that I'm like not mad at it at all. So um, eyes look amazing. The skin looks flawless, which is what we're going for. And I literally did this in like 30 minutes. So the process is sped up. It's still pretty simple, but look at how insane your eyes look. That technique by doing the darker color first and then blending in really is less work for you. It leaves you the pigmentation. It's intense, but it's easy, which is super convenient when you're in a hurry. Um, that is the finished look. I hope that you guys liked it. If you did, hit the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. We have goals to get to a thousand subscribers and I know that we can do it because you guys have been helping me so much. To do it, we just need you guys to subscribe, comment, share, um, and repost. Super easy, super simple. Thank you guys so much. Love you, bless you, and I'll see you guys next time.